Hello everyone, welcome back to Harmony Creativity with Monique. Today I'm sharing with you just some update videos on um, more gardening. So as you can see here, I have some Epsom salt and I have some bell pepper plants that I thought could use a boost. Um, so I just, you know, saw a couple of videos that Epsom salt can help um, pepper plants and also it can help tomato plants. So this is my bell pepper plants and I'm, I'm going to take my cultivator and, you know, just apply some Epsom salt around um, the base of the plant so that um, the Epsom salt can get into the soil and hopefully um, maybe give some kind of a boost to my bell peppers. Not knowing what um, like the pH balance of my soil was or anything, um, you know, I was just just straight up experimenting just to see, you know, if this will work for my pepper plants. But um, two days later, uh, came out and it looked like they were dying. I believe maybe if I had left them alone and waited to see if they were going to thrive on their own, gave them some time, you know, maybe they would have been fine, but um, uh, eventually had to dig up most of the bell pepper plants and I had to purchase more to replant. But with gardening, you're going to have some good, bad, and ugly, and um, you know, you're going to have some ups and downs, but that doesn't mean that you give up. Um, this is a learning and growing experience for me, and I'm going to keep trying. I decided to harvest my broccoli, and I tried to keep the broccoli growing for as long as I can. I was hoping to have, a, you know, bigger heads of broccoli than this, but I noticed with some of the broccoli heads that they were starting to separate, which can mean um, the broccoli is uh, soon to um, start blooming flowers from what I um, heard of. So, um, I was kind of disappointed that the broccoli heads weren't as big as I hoped for but it's a blessing uh, and it's my very first time growing broccoli so um, I just went ahead and and harvest the ones that I um, that had grown out so that's what I'm doing here So when harvesting, you can take a knife or some shears and um, you're going to cut right at the base, at the um, broccoli crown. When you're done harvesting the broccoli, um, you can leave the plants inside the ground. Um, they will produce broccoli shoots, which are um, like little broccoli florets on, on the plants, but it won't produce another head, uh, but it will produce some broccoli shoots. 
which are like little mini broccoli florets um, throughout the plant. But I decided to dig mine up because I needed the space um, so that I can plant some other things. But I do have plans to plant broccoli again um, this fall and then maybe this time um, I can have more success with it. Once I have these harvests, I will share a fried broccoli recipe. Okay, so I'm in the kitchen. I took my broccoli and I broke it down into smaller florets as you can see here. And I washed them in some salt water and I washed them twice so here as you can see here I have two cups of milk and four eggs and the broccoli is soaking in this egg and milk mixture and this is going to help with the coating um, the flour coating to stick on the broccoli as it fries so you're going to soak the broccoli in this milk and egg mixture for about five minutes Okay, so I'm adding in seasonings, and it can be seasonings of your choice. I always use the same seasonings as always, a little Creole seasoning, garlic onion powder, and black pepper. So after you season, you can coat the broccoli in flour. I use self-rising flour and you just throw it in some um, heated cooking oil and you're just going to fry these until it's golden brown. If you're wondering um, if you can eat these with the sauce, you can. Um, I normally eat these with the cheese sauce, either Cheese Whiz or Rotel cheese. This is pretty simple to make and um, depending on how hot your oil is, it doesn't take maybe five minutes, um, but you want your broccoli to cook exactly like this, golden brown. And that's it. Very simple and easy um, appetizer recipe. Um, you can do this for parties or just as a snack um, for home. And that's the Rotel cheese that I made there. That's pretty much it. It's very delicious if you're a fan of broccoli or ever had fried broccoli. Um, with cheese is very good and make sure the cheese is hot you want some um, hot or warm cheese to eat with this as well okay so this is the second harvest for my collard greens and it's been two weeks um, from my last video of my first harvest and look how big they've grown they grow back so fast so I am 
doing another harvest and hopefully they will give me more greens throughout the summer. With these, I'm going to wash, well, I'm going to cut and wash them up and place these in freezer bags so that I can have some greens on hand when I get ready to eat them. It's so exciting at this point to harvest food that you work so hard to plant. Just the reward of it is just your fruits of your labor is the awesome part of gardening. And also that you're providing food for you and your family as well. Alright, so this is later that day. Um, I decided I wanted to cook some snapper fish. And my daughter, she scaled it and she's um, splitting it open, you know, cleaning it out, you know, getting all the insides out and everything. And um, the fish heads, I will use those as fertilizer for my garden. And what I do with the snapper, we're just cutting them down the middle and then I just cut them in half to um, just make more fish pieces to fry for, um, for everyone to have some fish. In case you're wondering if I went fishing to catch the fish, no, these were purchased at Costco's. So once the fish is cut up, um, I have them in some water and I'm going to wash the fish then um, seasoning the fish with my favorite seasonings that I always use and I'm just showing you here all the seasonings that I used um, on the fish and here is cornmeal and flour mix I think I do two parts cornmeal to one part um, flour. And this is self rising flour and self rising cornmeal, by the way. And I'm just going to get the fish nice and coated. And I also have uh, my grease heating up on the stove as well.
So I'm just frying this fish until um, it's golden brown, but also, um, you know, just gauging it, you know, when I feel like that it's done. And it normally takes like no more than between eight to 10 minutes. So these few pieces of fish are done and I am um, frying the other fish but I just wanted to give you the final result of how it looked and this is my plate with coleslaw. Alright so this would be the last leg of my vlog and I'm just sharing uh, with you um, like just a full in-depth um, viewing of my garden of both gardens that I have and also just naming everything that I have in my gardens because I don't believe that I did a full in-depth um, video showing everything that I've planted in my garden bed so um, this would be a video I'm um, just showing everything that I have planted in um, all the garden beds uh, from my backyard to my front yard and this area that you see here is in my backyard and you'll see me uh, move up to my front yard and show you everything in that garden bed and how I have everything situated um, inside each bed and hopefully if you're if you live in a city like I do this can give you some ideas on how you can do um, a garden in your yard and um, you'll also see that I have things planted in containers as well if you're not a um, garden bed person or or um, depend on your situation if you can't do a garden bed so um, I hope this will give you some ideas and as you can see here with this plant it just totally got heat up but I hope this gives you um, some ideas of how you can do um, your garden um, in your yard, especially if you live in the city as well. I also want to just shout out um, to my subscribers. If you're already subscribed, um, I thank you so much for um, tuning in and watching my videos. And also to those that um, our new subscribers welcome um, thank you so much for subscribing and taking the time out to um, watch my videos and subscribing to me uh, my name is Monique and um, I live in Mississippi and I have four children and I'm a work at home mom as a hobby I like to share um, shopping vlogs um, cooking vlogs also um, shopping hauls and um, as you can see here I like to garden and I do like to do a little crafting on the side as well if I have time so um, those are the things that I um, like to share on my channel but I thank you so much for considering um, my channel and I hope that um, that my channel gives you um, some insights or inspirations to create at home so thank you once again um, I hope you enjoy um, this video God bless